Oh, oh big. that's a big crash for Daniel Kvyat. And Verstappen goes straight into the barrier. It's Sander Vos. Oh! And there is an enormous contact there. They've got into each other. Oh, and there. someone's hit the barriers at the final corner. It's a big, big accident. He's gone wide out of the final turn. It's hit the barriers on the left-hand side. Turns into the left-hander, gets on the AstroTurf. Oh, got a tax slapper on and actually hit the outside barrier there. Yeah. And yeah, just way, way too much ex exuberance on the loud pedal while on the AstroTurf and just a big tank slapper into the barrier. High energy impact there. Sorry, guys. Are you okay, Alex? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. And there is the Mercedes! What did we say about yellow flags? Are you okay, Valtteri? Yep. Okay, so the car is safe. He's had a big knock then, hasn't he, yeah. with that heavy breathing. Now, oh dear. There we go. In fact, it's the Tech Pro, isn't it? He's caught the end yeah. of the Tech Pro. And that's great. Valtteri Bottas getting out of the car. Click the wall. The wall really dragged me on, and uh, at the end, uh, there was another barrier which then finally stopped me. Um, yeah, I'm fine a bit shake, but uh, yeah, made a mistake in turn nine. Um, then I guess you, you guys saw what happened. So. That is the Alfa Romeo of Antonio Giovinazzi, and he's gone off at Puon as the leader in the second come in. I hope Antonio is okay. This is what happened to Antonio Giovinazzi. That he dropped it mid-corner, that's unusual. Yeah, and that's at about 175 miles an hour. Antonio, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's lights out and away we go. That is a brilliant start from Maldonado. He's already passed Raikkonen and he's passed Kobayashi. He was a bit sluggish. And there's Lewis Hamilton slewing into the wall. And oh dear, Roman Grosjean and Fernando Alonso and Lewis Hamilton all coming to grief at La Source. And Alonso's hopes of a 24th point scoring consecutive finish dashed within 260 metres. The final sector, oh, someone's off, it's Hamilton. Just making sure that his legs are still working. He absolutely smashed the right-hand side of his car. Let's take a look at what happened. Oh, oh it's a tire failure. Back. And it's in the Michael Schumacher corner, which shall be uh, named after Schumacher tomorrow. And it's a right front tire failure on that McLaren. That's what the cause of the problem was. And there's Lewis, the thumbs up, that's good news. So not a personal best for him in this qualifying. I oh, oh that's a big crash for Daniel Kvyat in the Red Bull, and we do see big accidents at Suzuka on qualifying day. We have in the past, and the red flag uh, has immediately been shown. Gone onto the grass where a lot of drivers have been doing that today, but it's had quite a spectacular consequences. I'm a bit disappointed with myself to be honest. These mistakes they shouldn't happen. They haven't happened for a long time and now they happened and now I feel very critic critical to myself. And we're racing under the floodlights oh. with a lot of wheel spin for Russell and a stall there. No oh so close no. to contact and there is an enormous contact there. It was scary yeah, because we realized immediately that the position of Latifi can be dangerous and uh, oh so let's see what happens. We're looking for the third place car, the Navy one. Watch everyone, amazing reactions there from Lando Norris to get round, but that unsighted. We saw a similar thing in Formula 3 earlier this year. It was Dan Tinkton hit, getting hit there. Oh, that is enormous. And it's another Ferrari, big Ferrari. crash. It is Charles Leclerc. I am stupid. I am stupid. I switch off everything. We'll just see here. Is he going to touch the inside? Wall like Kubica did. He oh, was blocked the front. Too much speed approaching the corner. Yeah, and he didn't bail out, did he? And he could have gone to the right. There is a runoff area there. We've seen drivers doing it all weekend long. 
He was committed to the corner. Sebastian Vettel going over parts of his front wing. I throw all the potential of, of this ball away. Only myself, only my mistake and nobody else to blame. Oh, and there's someone gone into the tyre barrier on the exit of Radion. And it is the Renault of Kevin Magnussen. That's a really, really big impact there for Kevin Magnussen. What happened to the Renault? Let's just have a look as he reaches the top. Whoa, and how is it, Martin, there that and he's gone in rearwards and, and spun round, but, but look at look at the bodywork that flies off. Yeah, the, the head restraint has gone. It wasn't there to do its job, was it? It's held in by some two prongs and pins that the drivers take out. Perez, very late on the brakes, gets ahead of Nicka Hulkenberg and the Renault, and Kriat's gone into Norris, and they're out of the race, and Sainz has picked up damage as well. This is what happened with Danny Kriat. So, I think Kriat connected with both McLarens. He yeah. got some oversteer turned into the slide, hit the first McLaren, and that sent him into the second one. Yeah, it was uh, not a good first lap for, um, for the team. Uh, do no part of our, of, our, of our own. And uh, made my, my race a bit more boring and not as entertaining as what I would have liked. Through the first three corners, Verstappen ahead of Sebastian Vettel into the wall. Goes Esteban Ocon. Did he make contact with his teammate Sergio Perez? They were right close together again. Right, just ahead of Esteban Ocon, Sergio Perez, his teammate. You've got Grosjean on the left-hand side. Now they're going to wheel to wheel, the two four cities, and yes, they did touch. It's Baku from last year, it's Spa from last year, all over again, and it's Ocon, who is squeezed into the wall by his teammate. Everyone saw what happened. I'm not going to comment yet. I want to see the images and discuss with the team first, so uh, we'll see. And we've got a crash then. So we've got Perez, uh, the yellow flags will be out and that's a heavy crash down into uh, the tire barrier there. He's dropped it under braking, red flags are out. So you see the car bottoming a lot on the exit of the tunnel, it gets in, very wide. He's not in the right place on yeah, the track, is that, he? Absolutely, I think that the incident started way before he actually hit the barrier on the right hand side. And, Nonetheless, that's a very, very hefty shunt there. We've been hearing from Manisha Kaltenborn that Sergio uh, did respond to the questions and inputs and stimulations that were put to him from the FIA doctor. In fact, somebody's gone, gone off. very, very deep, haven't they? It's They've a Ferrari, it's Kimi Raikkonen. Oh, he's gone off into the barrier as well. That's a big shunt. It's a big shunt for the Ferrari. It takes the Williams there. This is Kimi going off. Now, normally you'd be all right there, but watch him come back through that uh, brown rain gully there. Raikkonen was trying to go around the outside of, of one of the Saubers, uh, and that took him wide. He just, uh, just got onto the grass, he completely yeah, lost no, control. Yeah, no, he hit a bump. All he right. hit a bump, and there would be a rain gully there. This is Kimi going on. Now, normally you'd be all right there, but watch him come back through that uh, brown rain gully there. Yeah. Jumps up, and that is it. He's, uh, yeah, and then, of course, he's gone 90 degrees into the barrier. There'll be no tech pro there, no other, because it's a highly unusual place to be going off, it must be said. You can see why they red flagged it. And Kimi very gingerly gets out of that Ferrari. Max, I would imagine, not wanting Daniel Ricciardo to get anywhere near a slipstream or a He needs toe. to keep him over the left. But he's oh. going to try and dive down. And the inside, they have crashed. They've gone into each other. Daniel Ricciardo, late breaking, couldn't stop in time. Max Verstappen was right in front of him. And that is a debrief, Paul, that I think could go on very long into the night. I think now our priority is to apologise to the team rather than point the finger, so... Oh, oh George Russell on the safety barrier. That's... Under virtual safety car, has he hit some or? He's gone straight on into the tyre barrier at left-hander about turn eight, I think that is. Ah, uh, something's broke. Yeah. He's lost the brakes on... He's lost the brake pedal, I tell you. Went in at a fair speed, but it was, yeah. Just one of those things really, I, I mean, from my side, absolutely fine, but uh, yeah, when, when the front of the car's off the ground, I couldn't turn, couldn't brake, so, you know, just heading towards the wall. The session has been red flagged, and he has gone in at quite a rate there, Paul. That does look quite a 
nasty impact for Carlos Sainz. He's hit the wall beforehand, hasn't he? I think he's lost the brakes and hit the wall when it's almost even hit the top of the thing as well. So he has. That's got his elbows out, he had to, and eventually Verstappen... Oh, and it's a massive crash, it's Brendan Harley, and he's got tangled up with Lance Stroll. And coming out of that chicane, Hartley got squeezed up against the fence, but Williams, an innocent bystander in that. Lance Stroll supporters down at the hairpin, and the local hero didn't even get the chance oh, so to race past. So wide in turn five. I'm a little bit surprised Brendan was out there, to be honest, but not as surprised as Lance Stroll was, clearly. This could be why you shouldn't be feeling too oh. comfortable for a while. And Verstappen goes straight into oh. the barrier at Sandovot. And he clipped Roman Grosjean. And that really was a very nasty impact indeed. You OK, Max? I'm OK. Turn eight. I'm sorry, I hit the curb a little bit. Nothing I could have done. Okay.